In a very promising boost to the self-reliance and military aviation, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, unveiled first images of a brand new supersonic fighter trainer aircraft. This intends to train future pilots for frontline combat. The visuals there on your screens to help you understand what does this mean for India. It's called the HLFT-42. It's a new trainer and a prototype will be ready soon. But it's a full-scale model of the jet that will be unveiled at the Aero India show in Bengaluru. We get you all the latest on that because it's going to be a high-performance platform in corporates. Let's quickly go across to India today. Shiva rule for the latest uh, on that. Shiv, tell us, because again, an indigenous achievement, but uh, what exactly is this about HFT, HLFT 42 that we should be so proud of? Shiv. So HLFT 42 Puja stands for Hindustan Lead In Fighter Trainer and uh, you know it, it, uh, it's always an exciting day for military and aviation buffs when a new aircraft is unveiled even more so when it's an indigenous uh, uh, aircraft platform. Uh, this particular platform is going to be a supersonic uh, you know trainer aircraft for pilots. Now basically remember uh, Puja right now Indian Air Force pilot trainees uh, you know they conduct various levels of training from basic training to intermediate training then they have advanced training and then they go into fast jets uh, the the problem is uh, apart from uh, 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 a supersonic flight, which is a very crucial part of fighter yes. training, only happens for pilots once they start flying things like MiG-21s or Su-30s, which means their training doesn't involve supersonic flight training until they actually fly the aircraft they're going to be flying in combat. Uh, this was a crucial gap that the Indian Air Force had been, uh, you know, uh, experiencing for a very long time. It's also very expensive to fly frontline fighters. So, Noticing that gap, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has, uh, you know, come up with this new fighter trainer. It's a derivative of many different aircraft that they've built, uh, you know, over the years, including the LCA Tejas, the uh, HF-24 Marut, and certain others, uh, to basically build a sort of cost-effective uh, uh, trainer aircraft that pilots can use, uh, you know, fitted with very, very advanced systems, gives pilots, you know, the full fighter experience, including supersonic flight, but without the costs involved in fighter flying. And also remember, uh, when pilots have to train on actual fighters, there's a lot yes. of airframe usage, uh, you know, which is not very economical because these are the actual war assets which you will use in a combat scenario. So to, to save costs, to, to make your pilots future ready, to give them the entire gamut of fighter operation experience before they get into actual fighter aircraft. All of this, uh, you know, uh, led HAL to uh, use shift, its internal shift, now it's mainly the MiG-21 and the Sukhois. So let's, uh, f for example, you know, it's, it's a rhetoric, but for example, there's a warlike situation. How will this training by the HL uh, FT-42 will be help to our fighters, uh, specifically frontline fighters at that time? Very, very, very good question. Two ways, uh, uh, Buja. One, uh, this trainer, uh, you know, helps pilots, uh, like I already said, gives them the full advanced systems and weapons experience, uh, or, you know, on a training platform without having to spend the huge costs involved in, uh, you know, uh, using an uh, actual fighter aircraft. But secondly, and probably more crucially, in a, uh, you know, in a combat scenar scenario where you might have to throw all your aircraft into the air, this particular training platform can also be weaponized. It can also become a light tactical fighter of its own. It won't be as, uh, uh, you know, uh, as powerful as the actual frontline yes. fighters like Big Ones or Su-30s. But given that in a conflict scenario, uh, any country would want to use all of its available war assets, this particular pl platform, the HL uh, FT-42, I can confirm, is also weaponizable. You can string some missiles onto it. You can you can uh, hook up uh, hook it up with some dumb bombs or smart bombs and use it as a light attack uh, aircraft as well. So in all of these ways, yes. it's more than just a training platform. It can be a combat asset as well. So cost saving possible yes. combat asset and making future ready pilots. Absolutely interesting and fascinating and remember this is indigenous as Shiv is telling us this adds on to the defense sector and giving that power to not just of course the jets but also to the pilots themselves. Shiv Arur with the latest on that. Shiv, thank you very much for now.